Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Yokai Watch Blasters on Nintendo 3DS. This video is going to be the ultimate guide on how to farm Oni Orbs to get your Yokai to level 99. So, a lot of you guys have been asking for this tutorial, I've been working on it, and I have honestly been spending a lot of time with this game getting my Yokai up to speed. So let's take a look at him, shall we? This is my level 99 core, man. Take a look at it. Level 99 Jibanyan B, level 99 Shmoopy, 99 Komasan B, and of course level 9 Usapion. So this is this is great. I want you guys to learn how I got my team to this by the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch it to completion because we're gonna give you guys a couple different ways of how to farm Oni Orbs based on where you're at in the game. And at the very end of the episode, I'm gonna give you guys my recommendation of the top five yokai that you want to bring to end game. Which brings us to our comment question today. Who, who are you guys bringing to level 99? Let me know why. All right, so first thing that we have to knew, know about this is uh, understanding insignias. Now take a look over here at your Red Cat Notebook, or if you're on White Dog Squad, it's gonna be the White Dog Notebook. Heading on over here to the contact page, it shows you exactly everything that you need to know about your uh, your missions and everything. So, times cooperated with Red Cat, times cooperated with uh, White Dog, there's a lot on there, so it keeps tally of that. Now, if you guys keep on going with even more uh, battles and everything like that, you'll unlock uh, a lot of these different auras. Now, the one that we're gonna be talking about now is gonna be extra Oni Orbs. This one costs 100 insignias. So every time you battle with a person with the same game online, they give you 10 insignia for a total of max of 30 insignia, because if you have three red cat core, you're gonna have 30 uh, by the end of a mission. So keep on battling with people and you get uh, hundreds and hundreds of these things. I've got a thousand of them right now. I had 2,000 earlier, I was spending them on, um, on multipliers. So anyway, multipliers, here we go, Oni Orbs times three. You got the extra large one, which is Oni Orbs times 10. So that's going to be even more value for your budget, but that does cost 300. So keep that in mind as you are going on board. All right, so you may be wondering, hey Abdallah, what's the best way of getting those things? Uh, well, you can use the Wayfarer Coliseum and Street Pass. Uh, every Street Pass battle you get will net you about 30. Or of course, you can go online. And going online is super easy, all right? You guys can absolutely use the comment section to arrange some uh, online fest, or you can join my Discord. We have a Yokai Watch channel for all that stuff. So ultimately, you guys can see that there's people online, jump into the room, have a good time, play with them, and go from there. So, other than that, if you want to ensure that you get just the amount of insignias that you want, click over here, go to Red Corpse only. Red Core only, not Corpse. Of course, or Red Cat Friends. So if you make the filter that, uh, you're gonna only have people that are Red Core. Easy, right? So now that we've uh, shown you guys how to do that, how to get insignias, now we're going to show you guys the methods of going through and earning these Oni Orbs. So, for starters, uh, make sure that your team's good. Uh, for example, right over here, this is a pretty decent team. You've got uh, Fighter, Healer, uh, you're all set. As long as you have a Shmoopy or a Popularity Yokai, you're gonna be good for this first mission. All right, so our first mission, our first way of grinding Oni Orbs is the longest way. So I'm gonna get that out of the way first. It's not ideal, but it's pretty good for befriending Yokai. It's the patrol missions. Now, believe it or not, going inside these patrol missions, you can find a lot of rare Yokai. And not only can you find rare Yokai, but you can absolutely find gateway Yokai. All right, gateway Yokai for legends. Keep that in mind. So every time you go into Flat Pot Plains, for example, or San Fantastico, these are gonna be the yokai that are gonna be a little bit more common. Of course, you'll find other yokai when you play it, but ultimately, don't just choose the same level. Don't just choose Flat Pot Plains because it's easy. No, you wanna choose a level where there's going to be specific yokai that you're gonna be looking for. For example, I need Toiletta. I need Toiletta badly because Foiletta's soul, once you evolve her, is one of the best souls in the game. So. Uh, keep, in, keep in mind, we've got Gush over here, a rare yokai. You got Cheek Squeak, Tengloom. There's, uh, here's a way of getting Shmoopy, in case you guys don't already have a Shmoopy. So jump on in. It's relatively easy. Uh, for example, I'm gonna just jump into uh, this one because Toilet is there. Uh, so we're gonna move on out. Make sure you guys bring enough items. Make sure you bring a healer because you don't want to end up wasting your time. So before actually jumping into patrol, use one of those auras and then you're going to earn three times as many Oni Orbs. Uh, case in point over here, when you're ready, uh, all you have to do is just patrol the area. You can go with your entire team, you can play online with people to have even more fun, 
but your goal of this is to get all these Oni orbs. Now, I'm only getting about 180 for these, but if you use the aura, which we'll show you a little bit later on in this tutorial video, it's gonna be three times more. And you can play this level for about 20 minutes. So go through, mini, mini mission starts. You guys can see there's gonna be some rare yokai that come out, like this is a Washogun. And his icon, if you take a look, his icon's red, if you look at the bottom screen, so that means that he can drop and you can befriend him without worrying about leveling up uh, his previous evolution, Rashido. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna do this one really quick. I'm not gonna spend uh, too much time in side missions. Uh, so that you guys are all uh, under control with this. So here we go, let's beat him up. This is my level 99 flagship team where we're using all the cover, cover yokai. They're really good, by the way. They have the exact same moveset. Charge up beam, dodge, and then little pellet shots. So you guys can see that these guys are a little strong. They're a little strong. We didn't get the drop, but we did get a lot of Oni orbs, and the Oni orbs are really what we're trying to be aiming for. So we got some Oni orbs. Now, after you play a little bit longer, you can find all the blue flags that are floating around in patrols. You can go get them. Rare yokai will come up, and then you'll have even more chances of befriending them, all right? So I'm gonna get out of here. Um, but at the same time, after you play a little bit more, the door is gonna be there, and you want to exit through the door. You don't wanna retire like I'm doing. I'm doing this simply for the tutorial video, okay? All right, so that's our first way. Patrolling, pretty cool. It's uh, it's kind of like two birds with one stone kind of a deal, where you go out there with some friends or yourself, and you befriend rare yokai, and you level up at the same time. Okay, our next thing is going to be a little bit more involved, and this one is, this one's a fun one. This one's actually a fun one. Uh, if you guys can absolutely find some teammates, who have really, really situational yokai, uh, you're gonna enjoy this one. So here we go, we're gonna go over to my teams. I made a preset team for this one. This one is, uh, yeah, this one's here. Okay, so this is my preset team. I think I'm gonna do um, Wanston. I leveled up to 99, and I also leveled up Bananos to 99. The reason why I like these two guys is because they've got big speed drop and they got zap trap, and little baby wants and has regular speed drop and uh, regular trap. So these guys are pretty good. You can go double bananas if you want, uh, but at the same time, I do, I do need um, Shmoopy on board. So we're gonna go by level, level 99 Shmoopy. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we're gonna bring Shmoopy. And this is the team that I use in order to do this one. Now it works a lot easier online, but you guys are just gonna get the idea and you guys can run with it. So we're gonna select mission. We're gonna go over to big boss and we are going to go to Hoggles. Now Hoggles is pretty good. You can go to Ultra Hoggles, but keep in mind Ultra Hoggles is very, very hard to beat. Uh, so we're gonna go over for Super Hoggles just for the uh, example that I wanna show you guys. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the power of Bananos and Wanston. They're both very, very good yoke. Okay, so here we go. Uh, as I was talking about, Wanston is is pretty decent. Wanston allows more drops in the event that you want some items to come out of Yokai. Uh, I know that if you grind over on like the QB or Venok level, uh, those end game Yokai at the very end will absolutely uh, drop some orbs, which are the various tribe orbs. They're very very good. So that's the reason why Wanston's awesome. Uh, that's cool. We got a Mad Mountain. I guess I guess we'll take him. Um, sure. I wasn't really banking on that. Now I have to beat this level, right? There's so much pressure. Whoops. All right. So here's the deal, right? You guys are wondering. All right. So I didn't use an aura, but I want you guys to do it, and you guys can imagine it. Uh, these insignias are a little, uh, a little expensive to use, and I'm saving up for that secret boss at the very end. So I'm just gonna give you guys the, the method of how to do it and it's up to you guys whether or not you want to do it. So here we go. Sharing is caring, so make sure if you guys are going online, uh, use an aura for your friend, and they will thank you. All right, so here's Hoggles. Okay, so now that we've activated Hoggles, what we want to do is we want to get out of here, right? So Hoggles goes directly up north from right here, and then he goes to the hot springs. The main reason why we're not just battling him out right over there is because we want him to go as far away as possible from the hot springs and some of you guys may know exactly where we're going we are going to dame dead times little factory where she was in yokai watch 2. so let's head on over there and hoggles will continue to trail us 
Although he's going to be catching his breath every time he does so. So bring it on board. We don't really need to uh, worry about anything. He's gonna. He's not gonna lose interest because he's so far back. He's going to. He's gonna get us. But what we need to do is we need to make our way over there. So this is the method that I want you guys to use. You guys can grind hoggles. You can be in the comment section. Yo, who wants to grind uh, super hoggles with me? And then people can do that. Um, grinding super hoggles is relatively faster. It's not gonna take 20 minutes like a patrol mission will. So it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit better, but uh, it's my second method out of three that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So here we go. Now, if you guys notice, uh, my Jibanyan B, he's super DPS. I gave him the blitz attack instead of the charge up shot, which I had in the previous one. So what that does is it allows you to do so much more damage in a row rather than like a slow charge up shot because that's exactly what you want. Now there's a lot of yokai with the blitz attack, so you guys can pick and choose. You don't need Jibanyan B. As long as you have someone that you're comfortable with and they have a lot of damage. You can even use regular Jibanyan. I would recommend regular Jibanyan because of how awesome he is. So regular Jibanyan's good. He's got the three hit attack and then the uppercut. Uh, Jibanyan B is able to do the flurry and I love this blitz. It's just so, it's so good. But Super Hoggles and this specific team setup is a little rough considering the fact that what you have to do is you have to beat this guy and you have to milk him and you have to beat his like end game boss battle so that's gonna be really tough he seems to be doing the exact same moves so you guys are gonna be all right all right so you can use your soul ultimate whenever you want you can save the soul ultimate for when you're chasing after him which is perfectly fine uh, you can do that too so here we go Yeah, nice shock, nice shock, team. Okay, make sure all your yokai are revived at this point. You don't want anyone to die. Wanson's about to die. Okay, beautiful. Now we're set. Okay, ready. Alright, so he's gonna run. And what we need to do is we need to ensure that our yokai... Here we go. We got Wanston chasing after him. We're gonna use Wanston's debuff. We're gonna use this guy's debuff. And now this guy's at a crawl. He's at a crawl running away. So what we need to do is just keep on DPSing this guy. Keep on damage per second, keep going. And then just hope that your other teammates, since they're computer controlled, let's hope that they will actually do their work. Okay, so now Hoggles is back at full speed. He's running away. Now, he takes a breather, and that's good for our CPU-controlled opponents, or uh, teammates, because Wanston right now is going to slow him down a little bit. Banano should be able to bust out his little special in a little bit. Or you can manually switch over to him. See, Banano is going to do it right now. And his, his, his in spirit is just so good, because it makes him come to a crawl. All right, I'm going to use my Soul Ultimate here. I'm going to switch quickly over to everyone. Everyone seems to be uh, having their whole cooldown issue right now. So you can see right over here. Now, every single one of these blue Oni orbs gives you like a couple thousand, honestly. So if you have human controlled, human controlled teammates with these level 99 bananos or Wanson or a thing like that, Yokai that can slow down, they don't have to be exactly these two. It's just any of them. Uh, they would be able to run up ahead, throw a shock trap, and then go from there. So imagine if I had a shock trap, or two shock traps, uh, signaton traps or signable traps in my inventory, I would run up ahead, and I would continue to lay into this guy. Alright, here we go. We're gonna keep on going, we're gonna keep on blastering. Alright, he's slowed down here. Taking a breather. Where's Wanston? Team? All right, here we go. This guy, Wanson's almost got it. I'm gonna switch over to him so I ensure that we get it. All right, here we go. We got a Soul Ultimate, we can use that. Uh, we've got this thing. Did the Shock Trap, did it work? It almost didn't, it looks like you walked over it. That doesn't matter. Okay, so everyone's kind of still charging their stuff. So whenever you use this ultimate, you can easily see who's still charging their uh, their items or their attacks. All right, so you're still charging? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna make sure that I do this one. 
personally, because he's got the shock trap waiting. I'm going to show you guys exactly what that's like. So here we go. We're going to debuff him. We're going to use a shock trap here. And then I'm going to switch over to Jibanya and we're just going to do some work. Oops, over switching. So you guys can see he kind of went through it, but it's the point, right? Come on, guys, and spirit him. Let's go. All right, Bananos almost has this. He's going a long way. No, he's not. He's, like, actually right next to where he needs to be. Okay, he's taking his time. He's dropping even more blues. This is good. You guys can totally shock trap if you want. Just saying. Alright, so he made it. He's gonna take a breather right beforehand. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, about 20,000. About 20,000 right here in a matter of time. Now, keep in mind, if you had the aura, times that by three, which is definitely about 60,000 per this little run. And then, on top of that, uh, times it by 10 if you use the other one, which is 200,000. So. It's a good method. It's a good method. I'm gonna quickly beat up Sproink and then we're gonna quick cut to my last method of the Got him. <clears throat> Boom, big orb, check that out. Okay, so uh, he dropped the gigantic uh, yellow orb, which gave us a lot. And so as you guys can see over here, we've got 26,000 for the run. Not bad, but that's not even with the multiplier. So 26,000 times three, that's good. That's over 75,000 Oni orbs just for doing a, a quick map like this. And if you guys are strong enough to handle the ultra version, oh my gosh, all the gold Oni orbs that you guys are gonna get. So pretty good. Got a Signaton trap. We can use that the next time we battle him. That's gonna be great. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and of course we got our Lava Lord, which is good. I don't have that Yokai. Alright, so, uh, our next thing is going to be using the same principles that I showed you guys earlier. But we need to switch up our teams. You guys are gonna really need your A-team. Uh, I don't know why a communication error occurred, but does not matter. So, bring your A-team, bring your endgame team, your strongest Yokai that you have in your possession, and then you're gonna need to step it up. Alright, so I'm gonna use the, yep, flagship team. I love flagship team, so good. Okay, so, uh, if you guys have seen my other tips and tricks tutorial videos and let's play videos, you guys know what equips I've got. Uh, we've got the Neon Bell, we've got, uh, the Big Sword, uh, that's super effective against him. Anyway, so, if you guys have been paying attention to our tips and tricks tutorial videos, you guys now have the scroll in order to take on either, like, Challenge Mode Rubius J, if you have Red Cat Core, or Challenge Mode Hardy Hound. Now, this is going to be the way that you want to do it, and I'll show you guys exactly. We're gonna actually spend some of our Insignia right now. So right now, Insignia, head on over. It's really easy to do. Head over to your notebook. Uh, go over to Meow Mart. Uh, click on over, and we're going to use extra Oni Orb. So I'm going to use this Aura. So the Aura is equipped. We are on fire. We get three times more Oni Orbs. And this is going to be one of my favorite ways of doing this as well. If you don't have... If you don't have friends that all have like a bananas and want to really grind on hoggles, which is arguably the best way if you have uh, if you have good friends, but if you're going solo, like at the end of the night, you're like, hey, heads up, you know what's what's gonna happen? What are we doing? Let's go grind some oni orbs and make our yokai even stronger. So yeah, that's exactly what I like to do at the end of the night. It's a fun way of winding down. So all of you guys that are red cat core, you're gonna go through and you're gonna play this. Now, Red Core is, uh, Red Cat Core is great because Rubius J is, uh, he's an easy boss battle. Well, is he harder or is he easier than Hardy Hound? I don't know, that's, that's debatable. But, uh, you guys can see over here that I did do a misplay, unfortunately. Um, I left Jibanyan's Blitz on. And Jibanyan's Blitz is not good in this particular level, simply because I want to stay back and pelt this guy from afar like my other teammates are doing right now. Uh, but I'm gonna have to work with it. So you can't just quit or else you're gonna waste that aura of yours 
But you guys can see over here, we picked up that big one. That was awesome. You guys can go patrolling the entire map if you take a look at the top screen over here. There's all sorts of Oni patrol yokai. So if you spent the Oni, uh, or sorry, the insignia, if you spent the insignia on a map, you better believe you want to get your money's worth, right? So let's go find the patrol eyes. Uh, we're gonna knock them out and we're gonna get every single thing that they drop over here for about 400 per drop. There's really no time limit on this particular level other than the default timer. So what you want to do is you want to, in between like the first and second um, Ruby's Jays that you guys fight, go patrol the area and go beat up all these Oni patrol and different yokai that are on the map so that you guys can absolutely get even more bang for your buck because these insignias are really hard to come by because you have to play with people online and uh, like you have to play with yokai teammates that are of the same team as you, i.e. Red Cat Core, what, Dog Squad, so... Anyway, I'm gonna go grab a couple of these guys, but for uh, demonstration purposes, I don't really want to waste too much time with this. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's happening, so. All right, so we're gonna get some of these guys, and then now we're gonna go fight Ruby's J after one more little squabble with these guys, and I'll show you guys what's happening. Now, it may be intimidating. It may be intimidating to try these levels uh, if you're not super strong enough, right? You may be like, oh my gosh, I can't handle like Super Ruby SJ. How am I gonna do like the challenge mode? Well, don't worry about it simply because the challenge mode is uh, relatively easy because they go from like a low difficulty to the high difficulty because this is just regular Ruby SJ. This isn't Super Ruby SJ. This isn't Ultra Ruby SJ. He's regular and you're gonna fight a couple regulars and then you're gonna fight the supers and you're gonna fight the ultras and then boy I don't even know what happens after the ultras man I am not I don't have like an end game team that's strong enough to handle them even with flagship team I can barely pass like stage like 10 11 12 which are the Rubius J stages and I don't have my charge up shot so I'm not gonna do that for the tutorial if I had the charge up shot I would go fight ultra Rubius J like three times in overworld and I'd be able to do that but I don't know I got careless anyway here we go uh, he is on the beach all right so Ruby's J again very easy boss battle Okay, so as you guys can see over here, we beat three Rubius J's in Overworld, which was simple. I mean, he's not throwing those Infernal Blasts all the way down the street. And there's no cars to hide behind, so he's good. All right, so I'm going to show you guys really quick uh, what you want to do. And pay attention, because if you go in the wrong door, you're going to end it. You have 40 seconds on the clock. You need to escape within 40 seconds, or else your run's done. You don't get any rewards. If it's too hard, you can leave right now and take what you got. 11,000 Oni Orbs. Take them. Or if you want to keep going, Go to next battle right over here. So um, I don't really want to drag out the tutorial video. You guys are getting the idea of this. So I'm going to quick cut to the very end of beating the last Super Rubius J so that you guys can uh, see exactly what that's like. We'll tally up our score and then I'll give you guys my recommendation of the top five yokai you want to bring to end. Okay, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, not bad, not bad. The thing that was kind of suboptimal about, about the run is that the second Super Rubius J dropped a Rubius J Fang rather than the Oni Orbs. So we could have had a lot more Oni Orbs. And right over here too, he dropped the, the, the bead, which is perfectly fine. Like, I don't mind. All right, so now we have a choice. When, we, when the counter shows 10, that means that you are going to go into Ultra Rubius J. Now, keep in mind, I have a hard time beating him in his down the hallway phase. I can beat him in Overworld but he's really, really tough. So you don't want to get too greedy. I'm going to go for demonstration purposes. I'm going to get out of here right now and I'm going to show you guys how many Oni Orbs we got. So we got about 36,000. We could easily have gotten 50,000 if we had the big Oni Orb drops from Rubius J uh, at the very end of the last two battles, the Super Rubius J one. So keep that in mind, 36,000 in one run. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. We've got about 450. We did get a Charming Orb, which is an awesome drop. We also got a Ruby's J Fang and some beads. So these are also very, very good items that you guys are gonna be using for crafting materials, such as the bell, the cat bells. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that is the tutorial of how to grind Oni orbs. I showed you guys a couple different ways of doing it. Showed you guys the perks of patrolling. Showed you guys how to milk that big pig hoggles. And of course, I showed you guys the big boss challenge against Rubius J. Or if you guys have white cat or white dog squad, uh, you guys can do that with the Hardy Hound. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my top five. If you guys didn't already guess, uh, your my top five of yokai that we want to bring to end game. It's a good question, and I'm gonna go over these yokai really quick so that you guys can say, all right, well, who should I really go with? Because these Oni Orbs, they're they're pretty hard to get. I mean, and if you spend them all in one yokai, then it's like, all right, well, is it worth it? So let's take a look. My number one is definitely gonna be Shmoopy. All right, Shmoopy has so much utility. He's amazing, all right? So Shmoopy's good. He's got Circle Restore, he's got Healing and Spirit. These are his stats with the Alloy Shield, so he's pretty decent for a C rank, and he's accessible. You can get him really early on in the game. The most po important thing about Shmoopy is that he's got popularity, so I love that about him. Uh, so Circle Restore, etc., etc., etc. That is my number one. Okay, number two. Number two on my list is going to be Usapion, right? Usapion, here's the deal, right? Moon Rabbit comes out on September 27th. Usapion has an entire backstory chapter. Uh, we get to do Blasters Wars, and then of course we get B Usapion. And later on, level five is gonna hook us up with that Vader chip equip item, which is gonna give him so much attack power that he can solo anyone. All right, I gave him the Starlight Blaster over here, leveled up his regular Bunny Blaster, and Hands down, you will not go wrong with having Usapion because B Usapion is just so, so good end game. All right? So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, my next is going to be uh, Jibanyan and Komasan, uh, in case you guys didn't already know. They're accessible from the very beginning of the game. You can pour all your Oni orbs into him and then skate on by the entire story mode without any other yokai, really, to help you out. So he's that good, he's easy to control, B Jibanyan is just so great. You can pelt people from so far, you don't have to be up next to him. And then of course, the blitz attack is good for DPS, and his charge up shot is very good for cautious ranging. So likewise, I would say on that same list for number uh, number three, would be tied with Komasan B. I mean, he's the exact same thing, but uh, slightly, slightly different as far as speed goes, stats go. And then, of course, his, uh, his shots and movement. He doesn't have a flurry, but he does have a hit and run attack, which is also very good. So, yeah, I gave him the Red Cat Blade. He's got a, a custom equip item, too, that you can get. All right, so next up, uh, for number four, tied with number four, not tied for number four, but I'm going to say uh, my levels here is uh, Bananos, dude. Check this guy out. Yo, Bananos. I do have two Bananos. Uh, I spent all that money onto him so that we can easily use that. So Bananos' big speed drop is going to be so good for milking those bosses. And when Moon Rabbit comes, I kid you not, you guys are going to be all wanting Bananos because Moon Rabbit allows you some awesome grinding with those Oni Orbs and chasing after bosses. So, if you guys didn't see my tutorial video on that, go check it out. He's got Zap Trap, which is the evolved level of the Signaton, or sorry, the uh, Signable one. So that's a Signaton Trap. He's got Big Speed Drop Dude. Hands down, my number four. And of course, we can't forget our son. We can't forget our son at all. Uh, our son, I'm sorry, it's it's by level, here we go. Our son Wanston. Wanston's really good, okay? You can laugh it up, he's E rank. But he does have speed drop, which is budget, in case you don't have the rare bananas. And of course he does have the trap, so you can bring Wanston and you can help milk those enemies. So he's very good, and also his ability, greed, foes drop items more often. That's very good in case you're looking for orbs, which are the hardest drops that you can get. Case in point, I'll show you guys really quick before we end off this tutorial. Man, you guys are learning so much today. All right, orbs, let's take a look. So the best way to grind orbs is story missions, man. Right over here in this chapter, uh, you guys can get all the orbs in the game. Eerie orb, shady orb, brave orb, mystery orb, heartful orb, eerie orb, shady orb, charming orb, and then slippery and tough orb. You can get them as prizes at the end, but if you go through, and let's say in the QB level, for example, uh, you fight a flurry of different yokai at the very end. Demona's there, and if you have Wanson on your team, that's most likely that she's going to drop a charming orb after you beat her. So use Wanson on all these levels, and you can grind those orbs for all of your awesome equips. All right, well, dude, it's been a fun one. I hope you guys got all of that. Let me know in the comments if you guys learned a little bit more about Yokai Watch and how to max out your team so that when you go online, you're not going to be a liability. You're going to be that strong character that you're like, oh, dude, friend me. Be my friend, question mark. Be my friend. You're like that good. Let's go. 
So anyway, in this video, I showed you guys uh, how to patrol. I showed you guys how to beat Big Boss Hoggles, and of course showed you guys the Rubius J and Hardy Hound battles with the three times and potentially ten times boost from the Insignias. And of course I gave you a list of my top five or six yokai that are very, very good for end game. If you guys found this video helpful, definitely smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and subscribe for even more daily yokai watch blasters content. Best stuff on the internet, make sure you guys are on board, turn on your notifications. If you guys want one of these Believe shirts, right over here, click on screen, and also on screen will be some more playlists. Watch the tips and tricks videos playlist, learn everything you can, jump online, and be that hero. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.